Hello. <laughs> hey, you know, this is uh, completely off the cuff right here. Uh, just putting some thoughts down for people to think about. Okay. Now, throughout history, uh, this is one technique used by people who are intelligent or extraordinarily intelligent to get over on people. Uh, <clears throat> this technique is called uh, pawning, spawning, and fawning. Okay, now let's cover this third, uh, this first one here, pawning. Okay. First, we have this idea. It is the first idea. You think it'd be the second, but pawning other people. All right. Now, when that happens, um, this is called emotional blackmail. This has been discussed over and over and over again uh, by scholars and ethicists. Right? So, the idea of this kind of emotional blackmail is there's some type of pious nature to it. Like, go forth and join unto me as a slave and and then you'll receive whatever, you know, 77 or whatever virgins it is in heaven. Or all the, you know, or you'll be an angel in heaven, you know, plucking on harps. You know, if that were true, um, well, we'd see evidence of that every day. We'd see angels flying around, you know, there'd be, uh, you know, spirit beings forming into people and orating and lecturing and, you know, God himself bellowing out of heavens. Uh, but infor unfortunately, uh, that's not life. Uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, but uh, that just doesn't happen. Well, because, um, well, frankly, because God doesn't exist. Because if he did, you know, he'd be compelled to show his power and show his love for humanity, uh, love for people, the individual, you know. And uh, that really can't be argued, you know. There's no way around it. So this idea that we can continuously pawn people by promising things, promising power, godliness, uh, okay, that's the first one, right? Okay, and then being used as a pawn is the second one. Okay, so uh, he was just another pawn in the game, right? So that is actually, okay, after you, you've been pawned, right, now you're used as a pawn, right, to um, actually, to actuate. The the um, the words of the uh, of the charlatan. Okay, so the charlatan wants uh, to pawn people with the first method. Then use people as pawns. In in the second method, so the third method is the pawn broker. All right. So now you're being rented out. Okay, you're being monetized, and you're being, interesting, I always thought a word for that is exculpated, exculpated for power, for profit, you know, the prophets profit off their profiteering prophecies, <laughs> ew, that's interesting, isn't it, they all make sense, you know, words have sometimes I uh, have double or even triple meanings. And uh, that's another part of life that people don't get. So, the three pawns. And that is uh, 
our religion, uh, you know, it's worse than cascading, really. It's, um, how about, let's say, it's like a mold. It is molding, you know, so that's after cascading. It's molding. You're making molds of people. And it's not just like cookie cutter. It's a more complex process than that. Uh, moldy arguments. Um, it's, um, you know, where you're, uh, you're displacing your, your, your consciousness in favor of a, a paradigm. Uh, you could say it's a uh, self-actualization backwards. How about that? I've always thought that too. So, you know, the more you know, <laughs> FYI, people, yeah. You know, I always thought that the Bible should just be under three inches of glass in a museum somewhere. And the sign says, uh, this is what happens when you don't obey logic. Or, before we use logic and reasoning, we use the Bible. <laughs> Something to that effect. I had a really clever um, saying about that. Maybe some other time. Thank you.